Alright guys, what is going on today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about the new Boruto episode 223. Now, if you guys seen this episode, you already know what's going on. My boy Hoki versus Inojin. Now, I'm not gonna lie, during that fight, bro, we've seen some pretty good stuff. My boy Hoki, I lied, he ain't my boy, bro. I'm gonna be honest, like, that guy had like a boot like Kakashi and boot like Madara. I'm gonna point out. I'm gonna point out. That's how I roll. So anyways, during that fight, Hoki uses a lot of earth style, and his earth style is hectic. Like, even Iwabe, a man who is known as an earth style user, he was shocked by Hoki's earth style. So that's how you know Hoki has improved a lot. Now, I'm gonna be honest, the thing I like about Boruto is the fact that they kind of work on the side characters. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see that eyes? You see the eyes? She got no eyes, bro. She got no eyes, if you know what that means. Oh, le. She's a certain type of protagonist, if I may say. Getting back to Hoki. What I mean by that is Hoki and those guys, if you look back in the school episodes when they're back in the academy, they did not look that great. All these side characters, I thought they were going to disappear. Just like how Naruto, when we first saw all these random ass side characters, we didn't know who they were and they just disappeared. So I think Boruto does a good thing and he actually explores more on the side characters. Like, I'm not going to lie, Hoki's team is pretty bootleg. Like, I don't even know what they are. All right. That's my opinion on that. Their team doesn't look like a team that has any type of actual impact to the story. Otherwise, the truly example which is the anime canon stuff not the manga stuff but otherwise i like the fight i knew inochin was gonna lose that was straight up coming like that was not even a surprise they're gonna make every person a chunin in each team so in shikadai's team it's shikadai's the chunin while in hoki's team hoki was gonna be the chunin in iwabe denki's team it's going to be denki iwabe is going to lose against wasabi and now i think they might do a shikamaru and kamari 2.0 where shikamaru dropped the chunin exam it might be the same thing here where iwabe drops the exam because i think iwabe is going to lose or he might get beat by wasabi completely but i think he is going to lose i think denki is going to be the chunin since they hinted it the episodes before that denki shows leadership which is in the chunin and then sarada is obviously going to be team seven's chunin since we have the leaks for the future episodes where she is leading team seven on an off mission and i think boruto and mitsuki are gonna have a tie or they're not gonna fight each other because they're too close of friends on top of that we see a model with these new villains and apparently he is talking to them those new bootleg villains we saw i'm gonna be honest like bro you think a model is really gonna go along with these type of people bro a model is not the type of person i think what they're doing is that they have somebody disguised as a model to get into the scientific ninja center or something like that to steal some shit that's what i think that can't be a model because a model is constantly being watched so this guy being taken i don't think that's gonna work on top of that if you look at the amado that is talking to the goons he's really happy and really laughing and everything i don't recall any amado being that happy or laughing anything like that in the manga or in the anime so i don't think that is the real amado i think that is a fake one as a decoy or, or something like that so i know that shit cap i know that shit cap cap no doubt but the good thing we saw in this episode is the fact that himawari along with i forgot their names i don't know what those two characters are it looks like she might be becoming a ninja and she's following her friends and once they get into the academy they're probably going to train and become ninjas so it does look like himawari will become a ninja and i think in the time skip she will probably be a genin or chunin and i want to see himawari actually become a ninja she had the byakugan she's gonna be strong like she's gonna be strong strong so look at next episode we have wasabi versus iwabe now we'll see what happens in that as for the goons boruto and mitsuki are chasing sarada is worried that mitsuki and boruto haven't shown up when she does the hand crushing thing where she crushes her two hands together it means she's really worried you go back to the beginning of boruto to watch that she's mainly worried on boruto on boru starship bro i gotta say you know how i roll but otherwise overall this episode was good i actually liked the fight they actually went on with the fight i thought it was gonna be like a two minute fight but they actually went in on the fight and most of the episode was taken we got to see Inojin skills and hoki skills it looks like Inojin has been lacking on his training so that's how you know hoki was the underdog he's been working his way up to actually get to where he is as for Inojin, he's just been chilling he's not training no more he's busy slacking at this point so i think this is the wake-up call for Inojin to actually get strong and hopefully he does anyways this is what i think of this episode thanks for watching please comment like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come